welcome everybody back to my channel. Um, I have some shares today and they're mostly design team projects. I will be doing this separately so um, there may be a few videos going up. I'll try and do them quickly enough um, so it's not too dull. So the first one is for the Tracy Fox design team. This is the February project and in the main I've used her faux ephemera um, the first kit she did. I've tried to make a smaller project, a Happy Mail project, uh, something you could put together and um, send. Um, if people are interested I might be able to do a tutorial on how I did this. I've used a few bits from the layered tags kit, Tracy's layered tags kit, and the papers are from Graphic 45. So there's a sari silk tie put through an eyelet and this is a folio really um, a little box I put together with a, three pockets and um, a belly band here that I've hung a little booklet on and the booklet is made from the covers are made from a piece of the faux ephemera it comes as one piece I've cut it in half and used it as a front and back for this little booklet um, which has got some bits of scrap paper in. So that just slots over. I have lined it with um, old book paper as well. So that slots over there and hangs off there. And then in this bottom pocket I've mounted some of the flashcards that come with the faux ephemera kit onto card. These can be used in journals, you can stitch them in as tuck spots or pop them into pockets um, as journal prompts. And then there's a deeper pocket here, which is a little box, you can see this. And another flat pocket at the top where I put some of the extra ephemera that comes with the faux ephemera kit, uh, ready for you to use as you would like. For me, I would mount them on um, card or tea dyed paper and use them in my journals. And then in the box pocket, I've got uh, Tracy's version of a layaway tag. I think this is brilliant, Tracy. Um, we haven't all got easy access to the um, this type of ephemera. And I know I've ordered from Daisy Collins before and she offers a brilliant service but with the postage, it can get a bit expensive. So that's a really, really good solution. I've used an envelope from the layered tags um, kit. And in here, there are some bits of ephemera. This is from Tracy's faux ephemera. It's a nice invoice. I've just roughed up the edges um, and inked the back and the, the sides. And then there's some of the extra flashcards another one of the smaller size and then there's a set of alphabet ones as well not the whole alphabet I hasten to add <laughs> just a few so that goes in there this is a button card um, that comes with Tracy's faux ephemera kit again I've roughed um, the edges inked it's mounted onto card and then I've sewn some vintage buttons onto that there's this there's two of these um, sort of bobbin cards again I've mounted I've printed it on paper and mounted it onto cream card and then wrapped some lace round um, it's not vintage lace in this case but it easily could be and then I've decorated um, a little glassine bag here with one of Tracy's faux tea cards which is a different set a different kit but well worth having a look at if you haven't got access to vintage tea cards and I've put some of the faux ephemera tickets in there so that's the inside if I was making this again I'd probably make it with a slightly deeper spine get more stuff in <laughs> I've done a back pocket um, a little this is from one of Tracy's label kits I realize now I've used quite a few kits but the, the main show the, the one I'm showcasing really is the faux ephemera and these are some more items from that uh, that one I've left as paper 
This one is mounted onto card. And then there's another envelope from the layered tax kit with the um, alphabets, the typewriter alphabets from the faux ephemera kit, Tracy's faux ephemera kit. So have a look at um, Tracy's stuff. It's pretty wonderful. And I'll put all the links underneath. This I just tied, separated and tied it like so. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.